Hello again and welcome to another episode of uh, World of Darkness Character Creation. Now, this time we are moving into vampires. Uh, the next 13, 14 maybe? The next 13 or 14 episodes are pretty much going to be about the same. Um, vampires are very close knit. There are slight differences for each specific vampire. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the RP side of it. I'm mostly just doing the physical book here. Or we're going to mostly just do the physical book here. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, I will give a little bit of insight where I can. But if you're going to try to RP your character, you're going to want to re at least read up on them. Uh, the wiki would be a very good place to do this. For the basics. Um, there are also clan books, which have a lot more information for each individual respective clan. Well, to start with, we're going to start with Clan Malkavian. The reason we're starting Clan Malkavian is because... I like Clan Malkavian. It's probably my favorite clan. Um, as you've noticed, the system we're using is a little bit different. Um, I can click on things. Um, some things will have drop down lists, and some things I can type in. Um, this is all thank to, thanks to Mr. Gone. Um, I'm going to pop over here. Uh, Mr. Gone. Uh, dot rocksolidshells.com uh, he has given me permission to use his site um, and use his pages because he has interactive sheets now let's go ahead and start creating let's make a Malkavian hmm also I would like to note uh, this version is the four page version. I am only going to do this once. Every other one will only be, or every other vampire from here on will be the single page, which is the first page. Uh, as you can see with the other ones, um, they do go into a lot more detail. Merits and flaws will actually be on this page for the other ones. I believe here with the other trait, where the other traits is. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, this is a lot more information, but for the most part, it's not really required. Um, not for base creation. So let's name him... Huh, what should we name him? Hmm... Let's see, last time we made a girl, so let's make a boy this time. Let's make a Joe. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave out player and chronicle because those are basically us. Now for nature. As you can see there's a long list of natures. These are from the books. Uh, these go into others. Um, yeah. From PG, I can't remember what. PG is the player's guide. Um, so. Yeah. So there are a lot of them. I'm not going to go into them too much. I'm just going to go ahead and say the nature is a rebel and demeanor is uh, a jester. So for his concept, what concept do we want to play? Class Clown. Now, he's a rebel, so he's going to try to do things that are against the norm. Uh, going against society is good for him. With Jester, kind of very similar. I'm not like again. I'm not going to go into too much in the RP side of him, um, but for the most part, that a rebel Jester would do something like. Um, Piss on a cop car, 
well, the cops are in it because he thinks it's hilarious. Um, by base, you start generation. Let's see, you by basic, you will always start generation thirteen. We will talk about that shortly in a moment. Um, my sire. Let's see here. A guy named Joe. Let's we're, let's let's go ahead and assume he had some cute little sire girl, or his his sire was a cute girl, huh? Maybe a Megan. Megan's a nice name. And then title. Um, we're gonna make a new character. Um, titles are usually something earned. Your storyteller will give you permission to use a title, so ask him first. Um, it's very unlikely that you'll end up with a very good title. Um, normally you'll have something like Neonate, if even that. Now, if you look down here, the attributes are splurge 7, 5, and 3. So, th I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to program this like it was one of my characters. So, huh. And intelligence. Er, and three. Now, um, as you can see, I'm a little stronger than average, and I'm a little more nimble than average. My stamina, I, I can, I can take about as much hit as a normal person. The guy next to me, uh, socially. I'm average. Like, you see me. I don't really stand out in a crowd. For good or for worse. But on my mental side, I'm much smarter than the average person. I'm much more perceptive and I have much more wit. Now, for abilities, abilities go into 13, 9, and 5. So, hmm... What would be good, her? Gonna get some points in medicine. The, the way I'm gonna do this one, um, trying to think of how to say this. Uh, my knowledge is actually going to be the uh, five. Or my, yeah, knowledge is, I believe, should be the five. Wait, no. They're gonna be the nine, sorry. Um, I'm also gonna do computers. And I'm going to do finance. Uh, my character's rebel, so knowing the law, okay, but I'm not going to follow it, so just do what feels right. Um, yeah, that's, that, that seems about right. I'm good with computers, I'm good with money, and I, can, I could probably sew back on a missing digit. Probably not an arm, but a finger, possibly. Um, let's see. For... Physical skill or talent? Hmm. I'm gonna put my. Actually, that's kind of a hard one. I know I'm gonna put my five in here. I'm gonna say I'm pretty good at brawling hand to hand, and I can dodge. I can dodge if you're gonna throw a punch at me. Um. Normally, the way I'll do this what I'm putting on together is I'll just pick five so let's see here what would be good for this um, some stealth and some survival uh, you pick five for all of them and then you start building on from there uh, two of them you'll pick you build up to nine and then the last one you'll build up to thirteen so let's see here let's go ahead and add three more there I don't really need melee or firearms because I'm pretty good at brawling. Um, but let let us learn how to drive. So now I have nine and nine, so five nine nine. Now, if I want, I can upgrade my law or not law, my knowledge's or my skills to thirteen. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and do repairs. Um, Get some repairs up. Why am I misclicking everything? Uh, 
Um, let's see here. Let's go one more and drive. So, looking at my character, I'm pretty. I can throw a punch with the best of them. Well, not the best of them, but I'm better than most. Um, dodge. I can dodge. I could probably dodge some incoming punches, maybe an incoming bat. Not dodging bullets. Um, I can drive like an average person. Um, I'm pretty good at repairing stuff. This is actually very misleading. Repair is a misleading text. Um, with some of the older versions, it was crafting. Or was it craft repair than crafting? Um, basically, uh, repair and crafting are equivalent skills. Um, repair is good for repairing, but you can also, in higher levels of repair, start making new stuff. Security uh, mostly involves picking locks, although there is a little bit to, like, sen um, not sensing, but figuring out where security cameras would be. Just because I have enough knowledge of security, I would know that corner has a security camera in it, type thing. Um, stealth, being stealthy and survival yeah it's pretty self-explanatory now disciplines we have three points in disciplines now for disciplines the clan Malkavian starts off with auspex dominate and obfuscate dominate can also be replaced with ah, where is it Dominate can be replaced with... Oh, I guess it's not in this version. Weird. Uh, there's another form called um, Dementia. Um, it, must, it must not have been added until uh, version... or 20th anniversary, I guess. Um, but Dementia... Dominate, basically, as its name states, you dominate someone's mind. With dementia, it's a it's an off brand of dominate, where instead of controlling their mind and be like, I'm gonna make you do stuff for me, it's I'm gonna make you batshit insane. So they they're pretty both pretty useful in their own way. Um, I I personally believe dementia is a little funner to role play, but I normally go with dominate because it is a lot more useful. Um, Auspex allows you to increase your um, perception. It allows you to see auras and see past magic. I usually skip it. Normally, I will go with obfuscate and dominate. Um, obfuscate is go invisible. Um, I'm not going to go into the too much into the different ranks because those will change depending on your storyteller. Um, but at level one, you can become invisible. Generally, you can become invisible if you're not moving. So if you're like just kind of sitting there, nobody's going to notice you. It's like having a perception filter from Doctor Who or something. Um, with dominate level two, like dominate level one, I can give a single one-worded like one-worded command. Um, so if I tell someone to sit, they'll sit. If I tell someone to sleep, um, they'll sleep. If I tell someone to die, normally they'll just fall over and sleep because you're not telling them how, like, to kill themselves. Like, you can't say kill yourself. It's die. So they'll basically just kind of lay over and do something to the extent of not eating for as long as you can remain, or sustain eye contact. It's a slow process. They'll die eventually, but you might as well just have them do something like sleep or my favorite one is copy and then I can make them do pretty much whatever I want them to do and it's still within that single word digit as long as I can keep their eye focused also copy is very useful to make them do something like take off their armor or put themselves in a position where one of my teammates can just flop off their head now with backgrounds as you can see, we have a lot of backgrounds over here. Well, not a lot, but... Um, if we go to this page, page 3, we actually have extended backgrounds. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get... 
resources and let's go ahead and get resources and generation so we can talk about generation a little bit now for backgrounds we have five points to put in backgrounds I'm gonna put three points in background and two points in resources now since generation has three points in it I get to go up to my generation and drop it three times to rank or generation 10 this is very important the higher your generation the larger a blood pool you're allowed to have and just the better you are um, also there is a few things dominate normally will not work on a vampire of a lower generation than you who's better so one that's younger th or older than you um, this can be subsided high levels of dominate will work on higher generations but it's basically like let's say you have level five dominate it, it's going to be very weak against a generation higher than you, whereas you could probably convince a generation lower than you to just rip their own head off. Um, like, this is just a st blanket statement. That's not exactly a... Exact, that's not actually what Dominate Level 5 does, but I'm just kind of doing a blanket statement of, for an ex example. Um, okay, so we'll do resources later. So now for virtues. You have seven virtues. The three virtues are conscience, self-control, and courage. So we can pick seven of these. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just even this out a little bit. We'll bump them all up three. I'm gonna put one more in courage for personal reasons. Um See, we don't really have any other traits right now. So for humanity, humanity is your conscience plus your self-control. So that's six. Courage is willpower. Now blood pool. Blood pool you would normally roll a dice. Um, My dice are put up at the moment. I was going to reach over and grab one of my dice, but I have them put up, so I can't reach over and grab it. So, I'm I'm going to ignore Blood Pool right now. Normally, you'd roll a dice, and it would it would figure out how much, so let's just say I, I rolled a four. That'd actually be pretty bad, because, let's see, what is it? I believe that actually have me to, I'd be risking going into Frenzy. But that's something we'll talk about later. Now, as you can see, the health system for a vampire is much different than the health system for a um, human. Um, you can t you take um, bashing damage, lethal damage, or aggravated damage. Um, bashing damage will heal faster. Lethal damage heals medium or eight. So. It, let's say I hit you with a baseball bat, it'll heal in a couple hours. I slice you with a knife, it'll heal in a couple of days. I set you on fire, it'll heal in a couple of weeks. Um, aggravated damage is usually magical or fire damage. There are a few others, but we'll get into that later. Um, once you've reached, like once you've taken enough damage, you become incapacitated. Um, if you take much more damage after being incapa incapacitated, you enter final death, which basically just means just delete your character, because you're dead. Now for um, my weaknesses, um, you begin on life with at least one derangement. Sorry, that is a very weird, or that's a, it's cursive. So if you can't read that, it's begin on life with at least one derangement. Um, I'm not going to go into the derangements right now, but they can't... Basically, you're insane. For the most derangements, it's that you're insane. There are a few that are different. Now, with Vampire, you have these freebie points. You start with 15. Um, you have merits and flaws. 
Um, they cost a different amount, or merits will cost you. So, let's see here. For example, trying to find something that's kind of, let's say you're big, you're huge in size. So it's a physical, and let's say it costs four points. So it costs three. Apparently I picked three. So of that 15, you're now spending three of it. No, whereas with the flaw, let's say you only have one eye. Um, what, what was that? One eye is awareness. And let's say that gives you a bonus of five. So now, Minus 3 makes that 12, plus 5 makes that 17. Uh, then with that 17, you can feed that back into willpower, humanity, virtues, whatever. Um, I'm not going to do that because I, I, really, I don't want to do the math on actu actually going through with merits and flaws. Um, <laughs> so... I'm like since I'm not going to do that math, I don't want to do something and then somebody says, "Well, this is how it was on this page." Um, merits and flaws actually do have math to them. It actually goes through it in the book, so look those up if you want to do them yourself. Um, normally, I'm trying to remember how it is. I believe normally you're only able to get up to um, plus seven, I think, so up to twenty-two. Um, I normally allow double the normal. Um, I am normally allow people to get pretty much as many freebie points as they want, as long as they can bear, or as long as they can justify it. So, for example, let's go back down to awareness. Where was awareness? Um, okay, so this guy already has one eye. So if he, if the person starts throwing in something like bad sight or blind. I'm probably gonna start getting a little irritated. Be like, well, he only has one eye, and he's bad. He has bad eyesight, and he's blind. Well, you can't be blind and have bad eyesight. So once you once they start like stacking on, I pretty much penalize. Be like, okay, you're done. But if you want something like, hey, if you want to have a character that has one eye, one arm, has a speech impediment, um, let's see here. His sire hates him. He's allergic to something. Um, yeah, let's say yeah, one arm, one leg. You want to start. You want to start making yourself look weird. You want to start actually giving yourself handicaps. Feel free. I will let you ha make up room for your handicaps. If you, but once you start stacking on the exact same thing multiple times. That's normally where I give it a cut, but that's just my personal storytelling style. Um, as you can see here, experience. This is the total gained, total spent, what you've gained them on and doing, what you've spent them on. Not very, not really all that needed. Uh, for derangements, let's say... Our person has multiple personalities. No big deal. Actually, I'd probably have, with multiple personalities, I should actually make another page that has the other personalities things on it, but I'm not going to go through and do that. Um, here you will make weapons. Um, I'm not going to really put in many weapons. Actually, I'll go ahead and put in a weapon. Um, give me a second to pull up one. I want to do an accurate weapon here. So let's go with a let's go with a Colt and the Conda. I think I misspelled that. I don't care. Um, difficulty. 
this will depend depend yeah this will be determined by your um, storyteller um, if you have firearm skills it'll lower that it can lower that um, difficulty basically means if you when you roll a dice you roll a d10 if it's above a certain number the difficulty then you succeed if it's below it then you fail um, damage for a Colt Anaconda is 6 damage. The concealment is J. The range is 35. The rate is 2. And the clip size is 6. This means that when, if you land this, let's go ahead and put that as 6 as well. So if you roll a 6, then you get to roll your damp like you then you roll your damage dice. Um, your damage dice you will roll six damage dice, and however many of them succeed is however many damage he takes. J concealment means that it will fit inside of a jacket. The range is thirty five yards. The rate of fire is two. Um, this goes into your initiative, and clip is you have six bullets before you need to reload. Let's pull, pick another weapon real quick. Um, let's go for let's go for a classic. A Browning DPS pump shotgun. So let's go ahead and say the difficulty is still six. The damage for this, though, will be 9. Concealment is N, which means no concealment. Like, it cannot be concealed. We're talking we're talking a pretty big shotgun here. Um, it has a range of 20. has a rate of 2 as well. And the clip size is 5. Now, the Colt would be great if you're going in somewhere. You can keep it in your jacket. Uh, if, you're, if you're just going in for the for the shot, um, the pump shotgun probably be the better sh choice. You're just you're like, okay, I'm going hunt werewolf. I'm gonna take the shotgun with me. Um, as you can see here, here's a brawling table. Um, one of my favorite maneuvers in uh, World of Darkness is bite. Um, the only problem is bite requires grapple. Um, you grapple somebody for one turn, then you bite them. Um, normally, I will build a character, design them to bite, uh, so that I can basically drain them of blood. Um, I usually build a Deliberta uh, character. Basically, the concept of my characters are... Okay, let's scroll up for a second. Here, you're building on humanity. Uh, humanity means you're following the path of humanity, so you're trying to remain human-ish and try to seem human. Um, I'm not going to get into what all this means, but it is important. I normally do not follow the path of humanity. My characters normally follow the path of Cain. Um, the path of Cain sends like cheating on your spouse. Like in humanity, I cheated on my spouse. I cheated on my wife or girlfriend. That's a sin. It's going to drop your humanity. For path of Cain. You want you you want to cheat on your girlfriend? Go for it. We don't care. Uh, for the path of Cain, more actually, uh, a sin would be killing a human, a child of Seth, um, or letting a weak vampire survive would also be considered a sin. Um, in Path of Cain, one of the accepted practices is deliberate, which is the draining of a higher generation vampire in order to increase your generation or lower your generation, depending on how you want to look at it. Basically, you pick up somebody who's stronger than you, you drain them dry, and then you go, boom, boom, me stronger. Um, the math, I'm not going to go into the math behind that, but it is the primary way of raising one's generation after character creation. Um, now, we have expanded here. So, if we look, we had resources. We have two resources. So, resources to, let's go ahead and say, hmm, computer tech makes 
Um, how much would a computer? How much? Let's say about a thousand. Let's say about a thousand a month. This is after bills, so this is like you're spending money every month. Um, let's also say you live in an live in an apartment. One bed, full bath, half kitchen. So a simple apartment, something you would expect from like a college college student or a single bachelor. Um, possessions. I'm not going to go into these or into the gear or equipment. Um, this would be where you'd say I have a grappling hook or equipment I have a suit of armor medieval suit of armor um, feeding grounds these are important um, feeding grounds depending on where you pick will involve how you feed feeding is mandatory you need blood to survive you are a vampire Normally, I would suggest picking multiple feeding grounds. Um, let's see, does it have it in here? Uh, no. One of the uh, backgrounds in some of or in version 20 is um, domain, or something to the effect of domain. Basically, how far your power reaches. So it does help in hunting. Um, but if you look, herd is important for hunting as well. If you have a herd, this would be like people you have that you just have laying around your house just for eating. So, feeding grounds. Um, I am horrible at spelling today. Let's say you feed at the hospital and soup kitchen. So hospitals are usually pretty well guarded, but they have tons of people going in and out of them. Um, also, wouldn't it be a bad place because if you drain a little too much blood, they're already at the hospital. They can get treated. You actually don't want to kill a lot of people while dr while drinking. Uh, killing a human while drinking has many side effects. Um, one of which being that you could end up with that human r bouncing around in your head. Um, that's usually not a big deal. Humans bouncing around your head. That, that can be dealt with. They're kind of just an annoying voice. Um, but at the same time, still, it's bad. And if too many humans just end up dead with small holes in their neck, then you'll end up having vampire hunters coming at you, and that's, that's just not good. Uh, the soup kitchen would have lower quality food, though. Um, you'd have a lot of vagrants that you could drain virtually dry without anybody giving two shits about. Um, hey, you could even pay them. Be like, hey, here's a dollar. Just let me bite your neck. The problem is is that they're lower class people. Um, and I'm not insulting them. I mean, like, literally, they're worthless. Um, they are not going to be worth as much to eat because of the fact that they're not as well groomed. Um, they're not as, they're not going to be as, I'm trying to think of a way to say this without sounding insulting. But basically, they are not properly fed, so without a proper diet, proper nutrition, their blood's not going to be as good as, some, as say, a sports star. Um, so, for a vehicle. What would be a good vehicle? Let's go with a Ford Explorer. Yeah, that's a good SUV. Um, haven. Normally your haven would be your resource house. Um, this could be changed. Um, let's say you have a, a, a local haven for Malkavians. So along with your apartment, the Malkavians also have a a mental clinic. Let's see.
So an old insane asylum that was shut down in the mid-1920s. The building's old, but it's still standing, and that's where you go for a haven. So when you need help, that's where you would go. When you're trying to hide, that's where you'd go. Now for Malkavian history... So now, his history was blah blah blah, he's an insane young rebel, bitten by a crazed Malkavian nympho, uh, blah blah blah, badass vampire. Normally you would go much more in depth, I'm just trying to, there are some words, he was bitten by a Malkavian woman. Um, appearance. Okay, for, so his age, let's say he's relatively young, he's 25, he was bitten when he was 22, so let's see, what, what was 25 years ago? Um, no, 88. Um, see, he was killed three years ago, so, hmm, hair, brain hair, I am really out of it today, wow. Brown hair, blue eyes. Let's say he's. Well, brown hair, blue eyes, he's probably white. Nationality. Let's say he's from the UK. Height. Hmm. Let's, we'll, we'll go ahead and go with inches. We'll say he's mm. that wouldn't be very nice, would it? We'll go with seventy-seven inches. That's what um, six three, I believe. Weight. 143 pounds and well we agreed he was a male um, here's where you go ahead and skip do a little personal sketch if you want you don't have to um, so yeah now we have our character um, his name is Joe he's a rebel he's a che he's a jester he was a class clown his sire was Megan and he's a generation 10 um, he's pr he's decently strong. He's decently nimble. Eh, average stamina. He's not very social, but he's not unsocial. He's pretty good in the, like mental aspects. He's pretty perceptional. He's got some pretty good brains, and he he got some pretty quick wit. Um, he he can stand up in a fight. He can dodge like a normal person. He can kind of throw punches with upperclassmen. Um, he knows how to drive. He can rep he can do some basic repairs. Um, so he can change his oil. He could swap out some tires. He could probably rebuild his transmission if he had to. Um, security. He could probably pick a couple of safe locks. He's probably not breaking into a bank, but you wouldn't want him left alone in your study. Uh, he's pretty stealthy, so he could probably sneak around without getting checked out too easily. 
And he has some basic survival skills, so you throw him in the middle of the wilderness, he'll be okay, unless he gets attacked by a werewolf or something. Um, he's pretty good with computers, and he's pretty good with money. And he's pretty good with medicine. Um, for discipline, he, he's really good at dominating your mind. He will mess you up. Like, you, you give him two, two seconds, let him make some eye contact, he'll make you his bitch. Um, obfuscate. Yeah. I hate that word. I keep the F and the S. That, that, that combo. But he's really good at hiding because of that. He can basically become invisible. Resources. He has a, he has an average job. He, he, he has about average means. Average person. Um, he has a conscience. He has some self-control. But he is really courageous. Um, same with humanity and all that. He's huge, so he's taller than average. But he only has one eye. Um, he has multiple personalities. He carries around a revolver and a shotgun. He has He's a computer tech. He makes about $1,000 after bills and rent. He has a grappling hook for some reason. He has a medieval suit of armor that he can wear if he wants to. Um, he usually feeds and hunts at hospitals and soup kitchens. He has a Ford Explorer. Let's go ahead and put a year on that thing. So, let's make it a 95. It's kind of a classic, but it still runs. Let's see. The local haven for Malkavians is a mental clinic that was shut down in the 1920s. His history is that he was bitten by a female Malkavian, now he's a badass vampire. He's been alive for about 25 years. Um, he died about three years ago. He's from the UK. Uh, he's about six, about, about about six three, six six, somewhere around there. What exactly would that be? That'd be six five, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, that'd be six five. So he's about six five. He's pretty tall. Weighs about 143 pounds, and yeah, we have a full-on Malkavian. You could, with a little bit of editing, to go through the freebie points and set them where you would. Well, let's just go ahead. Um, let's assume. Um, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and knock that down to three. So plus three, minus three. Let's go with 15. So let's throw, it, throw that in somewhere. Um, let's throw some more points in generation and humanity. There we go. Uh, knock two points, two more points off the generation. Turns him to a generation eight. Um, knocked up his conscience, his self-control, his humanity, all that. Actually, let's take off his humanity. Let's put those onto his willpower. Um, his humanity's seven, so he, he... People will see him as human. He's not cruel. He's Most people will just see him as human until he starts pissing on a cop, police car or something. Um, with willpower, he has a lot of willpower. He's really, like... He knows what he's doing. Before he like he doesn't go crazy. He's not getting drunk or anything like that. His generation's high, so he has a larger blood pool. Um, and yeah, so this character you could start playing out of the box with this character. Um, so yeah, um, I hope this was a help to anybody. If anything needs to be clarified, do not be afraid to ask. Um, I have no problem trying to help clarify anything that I might have led to be a misunderstanding. And, well, plain and simple, have fun.